Okay. Hi, my name is Esther Laviel and I'm the VP of Client Services. Today we're going to look at data segmentation and how to add a data filter to your reporting um, tools. So what you want to do here is go ahead and go to the Analytics tab and click on Data Segmentation located on the left navigation underneath Advanced Analytics. First thing you want to do on this page is go up to New Data Filter and create a name. And here I'm just going to go ahead and do one based off of the survey that I have and I'm going to do one from March. So we do one for net promoter, high net promoter, and mid-level income. And we're going to go ahead and pull it from the responses in the survey. And so here I have a net promoter score question type. And we're just going for the market 8 to 10. Um, <clears throat> and then you can also add additional criteria. So if I want to say I want to do people that scored high net promoter plus uh, have an income of you know 40, 60 plus or more, then I can go ahead and add that. So here I'm going to go ahead and go to my income range, question type, and then highlight the ones that I think are mid-level. And also with the data filters, in, in the past you were going to be flipped to different pages, but now you can do it all on one page here. So that really makes it convenient. And you'll just look and move this around. Um, other things you can also include is some custom variables. So if you scroll down here, you can include um, any custom variables um, and also extended custom variables if you'd like. You can also filter by language that you have, um, geolocation filters. Um, you can also specify the email list in which you'd like to segment the data from. And then you'd like to, if you'd like to go ahead and add a time-based criteria, you can do that as well. And for this example, we're just going to go ahead and do one for two different questions. You can also do and or if you like. And once you have all of your criteria set, then just go ahead and click on finish on the bottom right hand corner of this box. Select continue. And now you'll see that you have a count of 10 people out of all of your responses that qualify and they selected at least 8 to 10 or 8 through 10 for the net promoter score or they have an income range of 40 plus. And to review the data you just need to go to the reporting options. You can review a summary report, download a text report, and also download the raw data for this particular segment, PowerPoint or Word. So if you like to go into the summary report, this is in real time. So you'll be able to analyze the data for your segment in real time if you like. You can see that 10 started, 7 completed. How long did it take for them to the survey? Other things you can also do with this particular segment is you can use um, the dashboard report as well. Um, and you can view and filter the data as you would like below here. And you can also review it in the infographics as well. And this is specific to this particular segment. So you can see again, 10 started, 7 completed, 3 dropped out. And so there's many different ways that you can analyze the data once you've set it up in data segmentation.